Get this, NASA just pulled off something incredible. They fixed a spaceship that's billions of miles away. Today, we're diving deep into this amazing accomplishment. We'll uncover how NASA fixed a spacecraft that was farther away than anything we've ever repaired before. So stay tuned as we explore how NASA brought this distant Voyager space probe back to life. The star of our story is none other than Voyager 1, a spacecraft that's been on an epic journey since 1977. Voyager 1 isn't just any spacecraft. It was designed to be our emissary to the outer planets, sending back incredible images and data from Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. For decades, Voyager 1 has been sending back stunning images and groundbreaking scientific data, expanding our understanding of the cosmos. After its planetary encounters, it kept going, boldly venturing into interstellar space. This makes Voyager 1 the farthest human-made object from Earth. Now imagine this. You have a vintage car, one you love and rely on, but it's parked not in your garage, but billions of miles away. That's the situation NASA faced when Voyager 1 encountered a critical technical issue. The problem originated in Voyager 1's Attitude and Articulation Control Subsystem, AACS, which maintains the pointing of the high-gain antenna towards Earth, controls attitude maneuvers, and positions the scan platform. Without it, Voyager 1 would be lost in the vastness of space, unable to communicate with its creators. This was a complex issue that threatened Voyager 1's ability to send back data and continue its mission. Fixing it would require ingenuity, creativity, and a deep understanding of Voyager's aging but resilient systems. Think about the most challenging repair job you can imagine. Now multiply that by a million. That is essentially what NASA was up against with Voyager 1. The distance alone was mind-boggling. It takes light, the fastest thing in the universe, over 22 hours to travel from Voyager to Earth. This meant that sending a command and receiving confirmation took almost two days. Every decision had to be carefully calculated, every instruction meticulously crafted. Voyager's systems, while marvels of 1970s engineering, were aging and operating well beyond their intended lifespan. Finding replacement parts? Impossible. Sending a repair crew? Out of the question. The solution, if one could be found, would have to come from the brilliant minds of NASA's engineers. The stakes were high, and the world watched with bated breath. This wasn't just a technical challenge. It was a race against time. Every passing moment without contact from Voyager 1 increased the risk of losing the spacecraft forever. The situation was tense at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, where a dedicated team of engineers worked around the clock, determined to find a solution. They were entrusted with saving a priceless piece of space exploration history, a mission that had captured the world's imagination for decades. The world watched as these unsung heroes of science embarked on what seemed like an impossible mission. Voyager 1, with its irreplaceable data and symbolic significance as humanity's emissary to the cosmos, had to be saved. Fixing a spacecraft billions of miles away is no easy feat, especially when you can't physically touch it. NASA engineers had to think outside of the box to come up with creative and innovative ways to diagnose and address the problem. They poured over decades-old blueprints, analyzed every bit of data transmitted by Voyager and ran countless simulations. The engineers had to dust off old manuals, consult with engineers who had long since retired and rely on ingenuity that transcended generations of technological advancement. It was a testament to the power of human ingenuity and the enduring legacy of Voyager's original design. Imagine trying to figure out what's wrong with your car, but instead of popping the hood, you're relying on faint signals traveling at the speed of light across billions of miles. That was the challenge facing NASA engineers as they tried to diagnose Voyager 1's ailment. The spacecraft was sending back telemetry data. Every blip and fluctuation in the data held a clue, a hint about what might be wrong with Voyager's delicate systems. The engineers meticulously analyzed each piece of information, painstakingly piecing together the puzzle of Voyager's malfunction. Every blip and fluctuation in the data held a clue, a hint about what might be wrong with Voyager's delicate systems. To understand Voyager's problem, we need to dive into its brain, its attitude and articulation control subsystem. This system is vital for keeping Voyager's antenna pointed at Earth, allowing for communication. The attitude control system relies on a set of thrusters, small engines that provide tiny bursts of force to adjust the spacecraft's orientation. These thrusters are crucial for countering the gravitational pull of the Sun and other celestial bodies, ensuring Voyager stays on course. The engineers discovered that one of these thrusters was malfunctioning. 
This faulty thruster was throwing off Voyager's delicate balance, making it harder and harder for the spacecraft to maintain its antenna pointing. Here's the catch. Voyager was launched in 1977, and its systems, while groundbreaking for their time, were ancient by today's standards. The engineers were essentially dealing with vintage technology, systems that were no longer in production and for which spare parts were non-existent. They had to rely on old blueprints, dusty technical manuals, and the expertise of engineers who had worked on the original Voyager 1 mission decades ago. This blend of old and new, of vintage technology and modern-day ingenuity, was at the heart of the challenge in fixing Voyager 1. Days turned into weeks and the pressure mounted. But amidst the long hours and the daunting complexity of the problem, a spark of hope emerged. Deep within Voyager's system, dormant for decades, was a set of backup thrusters. The engineers realized that if they could activate these backup thrusters, they might be able to compensate for the malfunctioning one and restore Voyager's ability to communicate. It was a risky plan, a long shot, but it was their best hope of saving the mission. Remember those backup thrusters, dormant for decades? Waking them up was like trying to start a car that's been sitting in a garage for 40 years. Activating them required a deep understanding of Voyager 1's original design and the potential risks involved. The engineers had to meticulously analyze the potential impact on Voyager's other systems. Every line of code, every command sent to the spacecraft was carefully scrutinized. It was like performing surgery on a patient billions of miles away, guided by the faintest of signals and the steadiest of hands. Imagine trying to have a conversation with someone who speaks a language you barely understand, and every word takes hours to be delivered and received. That was the challenge of communicating with Voyager 1. The spacecraft's computer systems were programmed using assembly language, a low-level programming language that was common in the 1970s but is rarely used today. Finding engineers who could understand and write code in this archaic language was like finding a needle in a haystack. But NASA, with its legacy of space exploration and a team of incredibly talented individuals, rose to the challenge. Sending commands to Voyager was only half the battle. Then came the agonizing wait for confirmation. Remember, it takes over 20 hours for a signal to travel from Earth to Voyager and back. The engineers monitored the faint signals from Voyager with bated breath, analyzing every fluctuation, every whisper of data for any indication that their commands had been received and executed. And then... After weeks of painstaking effort, a moment of truth, the data streaming back from Voyager showed a change, a subtle but unmistakable shift. The backup thrusters had fired. The signal, faint but clear, resonated through the control room, a symphony of relief, joy, and disbelief. The engineers had done it. Against all odds, they had successfully communicated with a spacecraft billions of miles away. Voyager, the little spacecraft that could, was alive and talking again its mission extended, its journey through the cosmos far from over. Imagine the scene at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Weeks of tension, of poring over data, of countless simulations and tests. Then, that signal. Confirmation that the backup thrusters had fired. The room, filled with brilliant minds who had dedicated themselves to this seemingly impossible task, erupted. Cheers echoed through the halls, tears were shed, hugs exchanged. These engineers, these unsung heroes of space exploration, had poured their hearts and minds into saving Voyager. For a brief moment, the weight of the world lifted, replaced by the pure exhilaration of achievement. And at the heart of this triumph were the engineers who made it possible. They worked tirelessly, sacrificing holidays, weekends, and countless hours of sleep. Voyager 1's journey is far from over. It continues to send back data from the very edge of our solar system, pushing the boundaries of our understanding of the cosmos. But Voyager's legacy extends far beyond the scientific data it collects. Voyager 1's story has inspired generations of scientists, engineers, and dreamers. As Voyager 1 continues its lonely journey through the cosmos, it carries with it the hopes, dreams, and aspirations of humanity. This achievement reminds us that the human mind, with its boundless creativity and capacity for innovation, knows no limits. Every additional data point beamed back from this distant traveler is a precious gift, deepening our understanding of the universe we inhabit. Voyager 1 is now venturing into uncharted territory, its observations providing invaluable insights into the nature of space beyond the influence of our sun, unraveling mysteries about the very fabric of the cosmos. 
The data Voyager collects in these uncharted regions will continue to fuel scientific discoveries for years to come, influencing our understanding of star formation, the evolution of galaxies, and perhaps even the origins of life itself. Voyager's journey is an epic tale of exploration and resilience. Its legacy extends far beyond scientific data inspiring generations. Voyager's missions ignite curiosity, encouraging us to ask big questions about our place in the cosmos. The story of Voyager's repair is more than just a technological marvel. It underscores the boundless creativity and resilience of the human spirit when faced with extraordinary challenges. Think about it, a machine, launched over four decades ago, is still out there, billions of miles away, sending back data and pushing the boundaries of our understanding of the universe. And when a critical system malfunctioned, threatening to silence this distant explorer, a team of dedicated engineers refused to give up. They dug deep into their collective knowledge, dusted off vintage technology, and devised a solution that seemed impossible at the time. Their success is a beacon of hope and inspiration, reminding us that even in the face of immense distances and seemingly insurmountable odds, we can achieve the extraordinary. What are your thoughts on this incredible feat of engineering? Share your thoughts and reactions in the comments below. Thank you for watching Time Pilgrimage. Hit like and subscribe for more.